Hello. Today I'm going to speak about uh, several Linux commands, very simple commands, that allows you to find out information about a Linux machine. So, suppose you were given access to a remote server and you're not entirely sure of uh, its capabilities. So, you want to find out some information about it. So, what kind of information can you find out? Well, first, and I think the most important piece of information is uh, what kind of a CPU is installed. And for this, uh, very easily, we can uh, uh, take a look at uh, a file called uh, proc uh, CPU info. So, uh, the folder is uh, proc. This is special folder that's mounted from the kernel with uh, information about the system and in there we have this uh, file called uh, cpu info and we are using the command cut which uh, will display uh, this information on the screen so i've executed it and um, we see here that it displayed uh, quite a lot of information but uh, the last uh, part of the file shows us uh, processor 7. And remember, in uh, computers, numbers start from 0. So this uh, actually means that we have 8 uh, CPUs. Now, uh, these are not always uh, real CPUs, like uh, real chips, because uh, it is expected that uh, one uh, CPU, one real CPU, uh, probably has multiple cores and even things like hyperthreading, which uh, increases the number of uh, processors reported uh, by the operating system. Uh, however, uh, in this case, uh, you can see here core ID uh, 0, CPU cores 1. So this is actually a CPU that has only one core. And this usually means uh, that it's a virtual CPU and not a real CPU. And uh, indeed, uh, this server actually runs inside the virtual machine. So uh, what this tells us is that uh, we actually have eight uh, virtual CPUs. And this model name here uh, is actually taken from the real system, so it's an uh, i7 CPU uh, running at 3.4 uh, gigahertz. So now let's move on and uh, let's see what we can find out about the memory. And for this, another command that we can use is cut uh, proc mem info. Again, a lot of uh, information is given here, but uh, this time we are primarily interested in the first values. So, memory total, uh, this shows us uh, how much memory is available on the uh, server. Then we have here mem free, which indicates how much of this memory is actually uh, free. Uh, mem available is how much memory uh, the operating system considers that it's available. And uh, if you notice here, uh, by adding a mem free with mem available, actually is more than mem total. Why? Because uh, memory free, mem free, is uh, actually the amount of memory that is currently completely unused while mem available is uh, mem free plus uh, buffers and cache. So uh, the kernel is uh, actually telling us that uh, if we need, uh, we can uh, employ up to this amount of memory uh, that is reported here in mem available. And it will uh, clear the caches, uh, buffers, and so on. Uh, now, uh, if we want uh, only mem total and we don't want to scroll uh, on the screen, uh, it's possible to use uh, a combination of this uh, cut proc mem info. And this can be piped, so we enter the pipe symbol, this vertical bar, 
uh, into the grep command where we can specify that we want memtotal. So if we run this command, uh, then we only get the total memory uh, from this uh, machine. So another uh, point of interest is uh, what type of uh, display uh, card uh, is installed. And this is particularly relevant if uh, we plan to run programs that require a specific GPU uh, type. So let's do this. Uh, LSPCI grab VGA. So it will only display entries uh, that contain the string VGA. And uh, we notice here that uh, we have a VGA compatible controller uh, of type VMware SVGA2 adapter. So uh, as I said, this is a virtual server, a virtual machine. And uh, with uh, this, we also notice that it's uh, actually running in uh, VMware. Uh, but on a real server, you will uh, get here a real uh, display card. So let's also take a look at uh, the available storage. And for this, uh, we can use DF. So DF uh, displays the available uh, file systems. Uh, by default, the size is given in multiple of uh, one kilobyte blocks. So this would be the total size. Uh, we see here uh, how much is used, how much is available, uh, percentage, and where uh, these file systems are mounted. Now, uh, one thing that we can do is uh, make it uh, display this information in a more uh, human readable format. So we can use minus H, so DF minus H. And now uh, we see, uh, instead of this uh, block information, we see a size uh, expressed in uh, gigabytes, uh, megabytes, uh, which is uh, easier to follow. Uh, now, uh, we are actually not interested in uh, any TMPFS, uh, dev TMPFS, uh, things like that. So uh, we can actually run DF minus H minus x, this is uh, to exclude uh, TMPFS, minus x dev TMPFS. And now uh, we get uh, the real uh, partitions that uh, can be used for storage. And we see there are three of them. Uh, one is mounted on uh, the root file system. Uh, and this has uh, 17 gigabytes, uh, four gigabytes are still available. Uh, we have another partition mounted in boot. Uh, we should not touch this one. And we have another one uh, mounted in this uh, folder here that has uh, 100 gigabytes, 26% uh, uh, are used. Now, uh, with uh, Almost all commands, including DF, uh, we can run uh, the command minus minus help. And this will give us uh, different options that are available with this command. And we notice here minus minus total, uh, which will produce a grand total uh, of the values. So let's try this again. So DF minus H minus X TMPFS minus X D DEV TMPFS. So this will exclude this file system and also add minus minus total. So now uh, we see this last line here, which uh, gives us a grand total uh, for all the uh, available uh, partitions. Now, uh, let's also uh, take a look at uh, what operating system uh, we actually have uh, on this server. So, uh, for this, we can take a look in etc uh, slash os release. And again, we are using cut. So, in this 
uh, file, we see uh, the name of the operating system, uh, which is Alma Linux, uh, the version 9.3, uh, and uh, we see uh, it's uh, compatible with uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, CentOS, and Fedora. And of course, there are uh, other uh, information here. So um, let's also take a look at CAT PROC version. Uh, this actually gives us uh, the kernel. Uh, version that is uh, available on this uh, host. Uh, we can also use uh, uname minus r, for example, which uh, gives us uh, only the kernel version. But you can see you can also extract it from a proc version. Also, uh, uname we run it with minus minus help, uh, allows us to print uh, other uh, information. So for example, here uh, I used minus R, which uh, prints the kernel release. But for example, uh, we can say uname minus A, which uh, will print all the information. And you can see it here. Uh, or for example, uname minus M, uh, which according to this documentation prints the machine hardware name. And this is x86-64, so it's a 64-bit uh, machine. So uh, that's pretty much it for gathering basic information. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.